Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Goblin Stone, the RPG roguelite slash goblin colony manager. We're going to be going in here to check out a new class. We have the hunter now with bust hauler. Okay, uh, so in we're going to go to see what that's all about. Let's grab a long stick. And we also have, on top of that, unlocked another zone. Like a whole new general section of the map is available. So, hey, we're going to take a look at that in Chipper Bluff. Explore all of Chipper Bluff. We've got, okay, some pretty familiar enemies potentially in addition to some question mark unknown enemies. A, let's figure it out. The question is, should I bring a different... Oh, God, should I sub out one of the tanks instead? And then bring an additional shaman? I'm really not sure. I also feel like there's uh, two goblins are unarmed, really. Oh, we had the temporary weapons in the last zone. I kind of wish that it just... After the zone, if it gave you a temp weapon, it would just give you your weapon back. But hey, at least they tell you. That does help. But new chapter begins. Careful now. These places are unknown. Ooh. New zone, new music. All right. Looks like it's going to be a pretty easy to uh, move through zone. There's a little deer back there. Shrine to start with. They to venerate their ancestors. Ooh, every party member's crit is increased by 20%. Enemies that are surprised start the battle at 80% in life. The issue with that is just that sometimes it's kind of tough to get surprise. And I have double and triple and quadruple checked that we cannot press left shift to, to stealth. Just want to put that out there. Uh, so this is going to be either a random event or a harvest. I feel like let's just go for a harvest. Truthfully. I think it probably makes a little bit more sense if we have just such a small outing. Let's just make sure we get some good supplies. Okay. Get a little bit of that. Can't hit it again. Definitely curious to see what kind of fights we've got here. It could be some similar stuff. Could be something new. It's a three-eyed slime. I did not get a surprise on it. <laughs> okay. Yep. New slime. Ugh. We didn't get rattle. Didn't get rattle there either. So we can't go for the rattle wakey wakey. I feel like this is all relatively fine. Nobody's attacking peep jailer on the loop through. Forty percent stun resist. I'm gonna go for uh, an armor up. We'll stay relatively close to the front here that way. Okay, so you you armored up as well. We're gonna really need to get the sunders or use magic, which R.I.P. for not bringing the magic. Uh, but then we're gonna look through all of your abilities here. I guess we could. We'll probably do it when we get to your turn. We'll just click him and then we'll look through all of his stuff. Uh, Con Banner, Bust Hauler. I guess I kind of want to protect Bust Hauler. He is our only current hunter. Not for long, but... All right, Con Banner. We do probably want to go for Chop and hope for the Sunder. 50% chance. Second, we do... Because you're going to get to go as well. Oh, we get the crit and the Sunder. Of course. It's a slime, of course! Why would I have thought any uh, any differently? It's because in the past we have not had... Uh, not had the bigger slimes. So the slime lings don't split because they're already the lowest version. Can these be bled? They can. That's weird. I don't know how much I love a chop on them. We actually could maybe... Oh God, how much damage do you do? 5 to 13. 
Oh, if it's a beast. Ooh, to the rear foe. Okay, so we actually... In uh, in reference to action economy, we actually might be able to do a little bit here. Long shot hits the rear foe. Oh my god, he's up to... Shoot. Armor increase, but he's also sundered. So, let's take a look at all of these moves. Beast Bane Arrow. Deal 50% to any foe. If it's a beast, do 120. So that's huge. The, the benefit. Uh, but also just the ability to snipe any specific enemy you want for a 5 is good. Uh, on top of the fact that we can eventually boost up their... Yeah, their power. It's good. Long shot hit the rear foe for 70%. It's alright. It's basically like if the back line... You, if you want to hit the back line and it's not a beast, hit the long shot. Dung trap set a trap with a 50% chance to spring on attack. When sprung, deal 100% damage to the foe and its neighbors. What? So if double shot, two random foes take 60%. I mean, you're not going to die to that, so I don't even feel like I care. This is deal five to the front two foes. So it's basically just do five to you. This is... Uh, honestly, I'm not too jazzed. We have the 28% chance to crit. Maybe we give it a like, give it a go. Hope for a yeah. Should have should have known better. We might be able to get an AOE move off here. No, because you were chilling there. Rattle still has a 40% chance. A lot of attacks coming in for Bust Hauler. We'll do the intercept then. It's an interesting uh, setup here. I don't hate the pushbacks here. Blast. Let's do the blast. It goes through armor. I feel like it's going to be one of our better things. So you do what? In crust. Lifeless and immobile takes 50% less damage from attacks. That is exceptionally annoying. But it's also doing nothing. I can't hit the back line. We could... I think we just armor up. And we get ready to, uh, to steal something soon. Not good. Armor up back there. I really want to see this... Uh, the, the poop one. 5 to 13. We can definitely get the kill here. It's not great, but it feels like those who were complaining about action economy maybe uh, can finally have their day because guess what? We can actually finally do some stuff with it sometimes. Dude, you are just not drawing anything to guard anybody. I feel like if you get stunned, maybe you will get uh, out of encrusted. Let's, you know what? Let's try that. Let's let's try and science it out. Exceptional skill. Did we stun you out of it? No, we cannot stun you out of it. We got a wakey wakey. We sure do have a couple wakey wakeys. Uh, but yeah, now that we got a couple of those, we definitely want to go for the guard. I feel like a magician would have been really helpful here, but hey. So we could wakey wakey you. But first of all, you have the five armor. Second of all... Uh, I take, do you take less damage? Third of all, you're not doing anything. I don't really care. I'm going to kill this guy. As much as it's like kind of wasted damage in a way, it's really not. Go for the slicing dagger. Try and like, uh, you know, move through a little bit. Because the wakey wakey theoretically does. Yeah, look at that. It's doing literally nothing. Chop could, especially if you get the sunder. Third. Um, let's pop you with the bleed. I definitely like the idea of blasts. Ooh. The freeze as well. Immobilize for two. You, you're probably dead then. 
We could do thrust to definitely get five damage off on this guy. You're, you're dying before you can go, I would imagine. So double shot. I think let's just definitely get five on you. All right. If you don't die by the time it's your turn. Oh my God. Just annoying. Um, maybe if I do one damage to you, something will happen. Nope. He's just kind of sitting there, ruining my life a little bit. So that's already good. We can't we can't even intercept yours. I'll go for the armor up to get you still in the front here. Alright, we could obviously exterminate. At this point, it actually looks like you might get to go. Which was sort of something I was hoping uh, would not be the case. But getting the bleed off on the big guy is a really good call, I do think. Let's let's chance it. He needs one bleed proc to die. Oh, you... you lucky duck. But yeah, the bleed on this guy, I do wonder how that's going to shake out. Wakey, wakey, we can actually hit the back line here. Cleanse all those before we inevitably split this guy. Oh, he just dies. If everybody else is there, he just dies. Wait. Okay. A little bit of a, a longer, more tedious fight in a way. Which I want to note to the people like, well, person or two. There's a sparkle over here. Who are like, you're too slow in combat. Also, can we walk back? Something of worth in an un. We can walk back if there's no tree. If there's no tree. Or maybe if there's no fight. An intriguing selection. Don't particularly want to, though. Don't really feel like it. Temporarily enchanted weapon with a free slot. I don't think I want to spend any money on... on that stuff right now. Whatever we don't spend, we do get to bring back home. I can't recall exactly what we need on those fronts. So I, I think, since this is probably just a little zone, maybe getting an upgrade to our weapons would have been good, but I feel like... Chance to bleed. A respectable hall. So we did learn uh, that it isn't just like your moves that can bleed get increased chance to bleed. It is, in fact, um, all of your attacks can now bleed with a 20%. It is still pretty good on the Raider since we have the multi-strike. It could be good on you, but your move, your weapon doesn't even have any slot ins. I do like the idea of the AoE from you getting bleed, but I think I'm gonna lean towards. I think I'm gonna lean towards the Raider because Wakey Wakey has two chance chances to proc the bleed. Okay. Good deal. It's a wolf. No surprise. Holding shift, no surprise. Oh, he gets to go first no matter what. Ah! No matter what. Give me a rattle. We do have a rattle. That's good. We should be able to do some uh, some pretty good stuff with that. You guard. I mean, you're going to be going for... You're going for Peep Chiller. Are you actually... You're not actually going for Bust Hauler, are you? You're not actually. I'm going to stay in the front here a little bit. Give me a wakey wakey. Thank you. Crits. Any of those bleed? Nope. All three of them had a chance to bleed. We could go for a pick wounds, but we're we don't really have a bleed on there yet. Oh, big crit, big crit. Beast Bane Arrow. They're beasts. Crits? Does it? Hmm, I wonder on that one. We could spirit rush, or we could just try and chance the uh, the freeze, which we did get. <laughs> um, okay. Mm. 
So the freeze is until you get hit. So I'm just going to put up a guard. Because I want to buy a little bit more time. All right. So we could go for the six and the six. We could do a guaranteed 12 damage here. Well. Ooh. Oh, they both crit for the eight. Rattle, what's your chance? 90% chance to uh, get the stun here. Any wakey wakeys are going to be quite beneficial. Come on now. We did it. Oh! Oh! Oh, Lord! That went well. That went very well. No healing. But I guess... I guess we can go back and buy some since there's no trees. I don't know if I like the fact that we can go back. Because some of the missions feel relatively too long to me anyways. Of course, the one time I tried to go back, there was a tree that fell down. What are the odds? They're not too expensive. So it's 120 for all of them. I feel like that's a little bit misleading. I feel like, shouldn't they just be... It should be 350 times 3? And then you just do the math yourself. You know? I don't know. It's weird that they give you the price for the full stack. When maybe you just want to buy one. Because that's why I didn't get them. I thought that it was the whole thing. Uh, we'll go for the tanks. It's only four health on you. Alright, we could buy... An, an, if we're really... If we were scared, it could be good to do this. Let's get silly. A hundred bucks is basically nothing. Let's go for a 40% a chance to bleed. And we'll just go for as many wakey wakeys as we can with the ham. The ham weapon. So we can go for a hit, hit, hit. With a 40% chance to bleed on every hit. So on average, we will get a bleed. Oh boy. What was the, uh, the sack? Oh, oh, it's hidden. I see. 20 more bucks. All right, we have a strong foe. Turn around. Turn around. No. Come on. Eh, it's... Yeah, I think it's a crapshoot, really. Like, I think it's... It's an RNG thing, I think. You have the rattle. You're gonna go fourth, which means... Bang, bang. Do you have either of you have... You have oh, you got the wakey, wakey. We definitely go for the rattle here, then. Because he should be stunned here still when it's the raider's turn. I can't target anybody else with that, then. So I guess we just go for... The guard up for now. Howl. Here we go. All the marbles. 44% chance to crit and a 40% chance to bleed on every hit. You tell me none of those bleed? None of those bleed! Unless it doesn't work that way anymore. You can go for the slicing blade. Chop. So you go, you're going second. Third, fourth. If I slicing dagger, I do wonder... I don't know if I'll get you out of the way in time. That's my concern. Let's try and fish for a crit, because a crit would kill. Yeah, good. We can we can non-stupidly fish for crits at this point. Beastbane arrow is a nice clean. 13. Oof. Riskmonger is uh is up in the way here. Incoming yikes basically. Ugh.
Uh, we have Beast Bane Arrow again. Do that. You're going third. It says you're going second. I don't know how this is actually going to shake out. You probably will indeed go second. Unless I Spirit Rush Bulk Angler, then it's a different story. I think we take the random... Ah, uh, uh, a little bit weird. Kind of, kind of figured. Really was quite good, though. No point on a rattle. I think we, uh, second, we guard you. We'll go for it. Yeah, God, that's so good. Okay, five and five. We can actually kill uh, the one in the middle while getting a tiny little poke on the one in the front, too. Which is just optimal. Howl. Uh, do you have a rattle? We have a rattle coming up and then a wakey-wakey. That's ideal. Um... Are you being guarded? You're not being guarded. God, he's just got no health. 90% chance to stun. Oh, wh one thing I want to mention, when people saying, like, you, your decisions are too slow, uh, I have a... I want you to analyze truly, genuinely truly, just how long each turn actually takes and then realize maybe the game is just a little slow. That's what I want to say. Because I've, I've been getting a decent chunk of that, and there's only so much I can do, really. Uh, do I bother with the Kindle Spirit? I think probably not. Soul Gale, we could push him back, but... Eh, that's, that was the thing I was kind of hoping I wouldn't get, because that guy's dying. He's dying anyways. It ended up being a little bit of a waste. The ideal would have been the front line and a, uh, a freeze. Rattle. We don't have a rattle on either, and it's going to be a ways before you get a go, so we're going to chance a stun, I think. Beast Bane Arrow? Okay. I was wondering if the Beast Bane Arrow was always a crit or what. I think I kill you before your turn. And this should all but guarantee it. Like, yeah, worst comes the worst. We still have it. There's no accuracy. Blessed be. Good deal. Good deal. So that was the, uh, that was the big old fight, right? Did we need to buy the, uh, the gem? No. I probably should not have bought the gem. I just wanted to do it. Onward. I do like the hunter. I definitely see the value in the hunter. Especially considering this one isn't very good. <laughs> Don't tell Bust Hauler. But he's kind of not that great. He's got... Uh, he doesn't even have the proper stat line to be this class in the first place. Hall has been upgraded. Got the Hunter's Guild. Let's take a, a look at the Hunter's abilities. Deal 80% damage to a foe if it has stun, freeze, or slow. Deal 130% instead. Is this to anyone? It kind of looks like an arrow. I never really got the Dung Trap option. I might take that over double shot. 66% to two foes. Blood trap, set a trap with a 50% chance to spring on attack. I gotta know, is this when we, if we attack it? If we attack it or if we put it on a foe and when they attack? I'm not sure. Pull a foe to the front and stun it? That's interesting and a little scary. Because... You are also moving them to the front of initiative when their stun is over. It's usually going to be good, but that's actually really appealing. Set a trap with a 50% chance to spring on attack. Inflict stun and deal 150% damage. 
Okay, these traps seem pretty good. Step one, though, I think we want to... I'm going to check and see if we can upgrade our barracks yet. No! 20 bone, 20 wood. What do we have? Eighteen bone. Fourteen wood. Okay, well we're not it's not that we're not close. But it's just it's not yeah. Just what's needed. We could buy one wood, but I just why? I'll tell you why, because it's so cheap. An honest bug. Cost basically nothing. Well, I, I, we'll probably just buy the materials every single time since they're so cheap. Seer Patter. 445. We're looking for high mind. Alerts. Uh, I said we're looking for high mind, not zero mind. Alright. So. Their stats may or may not matter. Some people said they didn't matter. And then I saw some people say they did. It's just. Aye, aye, aye. It's a tough one. Uh, but we do want to go with somebody who has Skeptic. Regardless, I think Skeptic is going to be a good call. So bring you in here. And then we'll look for somebody who is up here. We have a Flabby Skeptic. If they get Flabby, then we don't have to... Relative. Okay, fair enough. I, I think we'll just do this, right? Are the stats real? I don't believe that the stats are random. I don't believe that. Looking at this, the body is being pulled from Load Lasher. The mind is being pulled from Load Lasher. Mind's being pulled over there. And spirit, spirit. The spirit can be pulled from either of them because they're. Look at all of their spirit. Their spirit is always four. No matter what their spirit, their base spirit is going to be four. If that's the case. If both of their spirit has to be four. So yeah, this is, to be clear, it is four. Four. So we've got skeptic. Eight. I mean, you are definitely becoming a hunter. You are a god. Dome tinker and dome pepper. You didn't get skeptic, unfortunately. But you did get alert. Why can't you be a hunter? You need six in mind to be a hunter. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's check our barracks. We're either going to send somebody. I think we send away somebody. We might need to, like, literally get rid of a rookie that we're not going to be using. What do I have you? Do I have you for... There's Ball Mangler. We're, we're keeping Ball Mangler. Ball Mangler's actually really quite good. I think we need to bring Ball Mangler in. Uh, Bard Keeper, I think I took you for, like, some good stats. Oh, no, I took you because you're cute. <laughs> just, uh, I can't really keep... I can't just keep goblins because they're cute, can I? I think that Blue Hawker, while not bad at... Oh, you're really good, though. Those are not bad stats for, for breeding a um, a different class. Seal Dopper? You can maybe go. Like, let's see. What do you look like without religious? Doesn't let me check here. Okay. Annoying. Seal Dopper? I'm never using you, right? Like, if, I, if I'm bringing you with religious... I, I understand that we get nothing for it. And people are saying, bring them, bring them, because then they'll be worth one when they die. It's, it's a waste of time, because you might end up killing an entire squad of good goblins, or you could kill a whole bunch of bad goblins, and you would have been better off bringing in other goblins and leveling them up. And it, when I say leveling up, I mean leveling up their soul value. Because Riskmonger has a soul value of three. If we bring in a... a 
one worth zero and get them to be worth one, it's not any better than bringing in Riskmonger and then making him worth four. It's just a waste of time and it puts good goblins at risk. So I'm not bringing in stinkers to sacrifice because it just doesn't, it just doesn't really make any sense. Like you can, if I, but I would rather just do something else, right? Uh, what do we take to upgrade this? All right. But I'm bringing in, it was Dome Tinker, you're the good one. Welcome aboard, Dome Tinker. Uh, Dome Pepper is probably just going to be a no. He's not bad. Don't get me wrong. He's not bad. I'm just... I'm going to say no. I don't mind the idea of making a, uh, a new Warrens if it's an option. Do I have the ability to make another Warrens? 20 bones. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we got, uh, I'd say... Bust Hauler. You know, we'll probably just retire Bust Hauler immediately. Like, he's just, he's not a very good hunter. They remain at the lair, telling stories of days. Dome Thinker. Immediately uh, much better. Do I go for one? I don't know what the proper layout is here, because I feel like we maybe should replace a raider with a hunter. I do think I kind of want to sub out Life Shock instead. Because we can... Kindle Spirit we can't use at the end of fight for, like, cheesing out... Cheating out value. You can do that with this one. Um, I really, really want to upgrade my barracks. We need bone and wood to do it. We get power at camp if we do that... We also have to upgrade our freaking... We have to upgrade this. We need bone and... We need so much bone and wood. I'm going to look for a mission. Oh, we didn't even fully explore it. Uh, I'm looking for a zone that has bone and wood guaranteed. Okay. There's, there's that one. Is there anything... Anyone doing more? I mean, 20 wood. I'm going to go do this mission. Oh, that's right. That makes sense. Give him the stick. In we go. I know we could push Sean further, but for the love of God, if I keep on pushing on further and I don't get to upgrade my, uh, my base... Also, I really want to upgrade my war room because of that. Of Whatever the Aura Flame Blessing is. Guru is really fun for making us legitimately stronger. I'll do it. We might be able to go up. We might be able to go up and see that goblin too. We'll see. Have much to teach. Long shot goes up to 80%. Rattle does more damage. Wakey, wakey. Uh, I don't even need to see. I mean, maybe I do need to see, but it's like kind of a big deal, right? Oh, it, it only increases the damage at the finale. Actually, it might be worth looking at then. It, maybe it was a no. Uh, pretty big heal upgrade. Exterminate. Could be good. 80% does 10% more if it specifically is stunned. Man. I'll get the life shock then. We do stun ourselves. Hey, so inspired next ability costs one less. Is very curious. But part of me wants to... Um, I kind of want to upgrade a hunter ability because... It's a new class for us. All right, we'll, we'll we'll see if I can somehow get up the other way. I wouldn't be surprised if this is where the tree falls. No, so there is there's an element of lost backtracking. I don't know if we can surprise a slime. It's just not moving. Oh, it's an event. That's why. 
A rare slime catches the goblin's gaze in the form of glistening, glistening metallic sheen. Since an overabundance of treasure contained within its slimy body, while it hasn't yet detected their presence, an air of caution surrounds it, hinting at awareness of nearby danger. Observe it based on spirit. We actually probably don't have very good spirit. How much do we need? 13. Give me the 8. Okay, good. Dome Tinker! Call banner! <laughs> Goblins fixate in an instant. The slime senses their heightened uh, emotions and intent, and it retreats to an uncanny with an uncanny speed that contradicts its gelatinous nature. Ah, oh, that's sad. So yeah, to be clear, there is not backtracking there. When you make a choice, you have made a choice. Um. I want to go for the Harvest. I'd rather do one tough battle with a Harvest than two normal battles right now. Okay, back it up, back it up, back it up. Can no longer turn back. Oh. See? Okay. There's only, there's some backtrack. This is, okay. All right. Thank God. Thank God I'm not crazy. There is some element of not being able to backtrack. Like more frequently than it would seem. Uh, a rattle here is good because then you're going forth, forth, and... Yeah. Do we have a wakey-wakey? We have one on Mash Mugger. I think you're still stunned by then. The question is, will you be in front? It doesn't actually matter. I do, uh, I like guard better here. We could try and redraw, we could try and redraw a wakey wakey on you as well. Unfortunate. Oh! Mama! Resisted the bleed, thank god. Not bad at all. Do we have the ability to... We could probably pop you as well, right? Devious Shot does 15 to you. Is it to anybody? So it's to anybody. Okay, I got a note. Put it on the front foe with a 50% chance to spring on attack. I, I have to know. Is it on that position? I think it's when they get attacked, it has a 50% chance. That's my educated guess. Two, either one's in the, the middle would be killed by that. Alright. So, like, now's a pretty good time to pop that. Oh, man. A thrust gets us a kill. And we also don't pop the, uh, the trap at a Unless... Okay. So th that's also good order of operations. So if you kill them and then the trap procs, it would indeed mess that up there. Uh, just for s safety's sake. I'll just take... I'll take whatever you do. Even though he can handle it. Oh, wait. And that wasn't even who was uh, the target. It would have been Calm Banner because you're slowed. We do have a Wakey Wakey, which um, is a guaranteed 12 damage on this upgrade. Try and explode. Okay, that's another good bit of information. If you kill, it doesn't even have a chance to explode. Th these are... This is genuinely good knowledge this does 9 to 11 so this puts you in a spot where you definitely die to a random hit execute no dice we go for the wakey wakey on you even though you're the one who's stunned obviously 
because you're stunned, so why would I care? Aw. See, that would have been a good time for us to get the heal. We actually could cheese out a heal at the end. Good. Got some wood. Nature's bounty picked clean. Yeah. No treasure, however small, is worthless. All right. Got another shrine. They humbly seek the stone for its blessing. Healing effects grant an additional 60%. Okay, uh, I kind of want to greed and go for this. We only have one healer. The heal thing could be nice, but also what if I want to use it on the enemy for just a stun? Because that's the thing. If you use it immediately when an enemy is at full health, Okay, so I can backtrack here, because I have already made my choice. Blitzo. 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 I could. 30% chance to throw another dagger. Go for a giga heal. I mean, that final hit is a really good one. What about this? Okay, it makes it so it also does a little bit of damage, but not much. That does give it an extra use case, but I gotta tell you, I'm a wakey-wakey main. Rattle just does more damage. Spirit Rush is, is pretty tempting. Pick Wounds. What's that do? A 20% damage increase is no joke, because that brings it into uh, to viability for sure, like, in these quicker fights. The reason I'm not using it a lot right now, I would imagine is pretty obvious, but it's because the fights aren't lasting long enough for it to be relevant. Let's go for a double harvest. Whoop. Like, we, we need enemies that have higher health... Go, 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 Got him. I think it's a die roll. When they're turned away from you, a die roll. is That's what it seems like. The issue with this is I don't have a good... Um, situation for, like, rattling. We do this, and then we'll have you rattle, because we don't want the other one to be stunned for too... We don't want you to be stunned for too long, because then you'd be in position three instead of position two, which might still have... Oh, neither of you got wakey-wakey anyways. All right, I'll just maybe go for the spider then. Unless... You know, you don't have a reroll even. I'll just get the spider out of the way then. I don't, I don't love it. There's better... Uh, devious shots. They're relatively the same. And if they're the same, more or less, then we might as well go for the Beast Bane. Spider's going fifth. You have Soul Gale. So if I actually go for... Uh, if I go for a Beastbane arrow and then the AoE, we can kill the spider. Which I feel like is a good call. And we also chanced the knockbacks, which we just didn't get. Okay. A little bit painful, but fine. Got a rattle. We do have a rattle. But we don't want to rattle, and we want you to be the rattler. And ideally, this doesn't stun in a weird way. Poop trap. I want to try the poop trap. But we need to heal. So rattle could proc the poop trap. 50% chance. Trap fail. Uh, it's going to fail again because I'm going to kill it. 
Let's go weird with it. I just want to try this out. Please proc the trap. No. I genuinely just did it so we could try and do the uh, the proc. Oh, well. And then the trap dies. So that's going to be another one that's a little bit weird. Ow. Like the... Um, kind of like bleed. It's like in these shorter fights, if it fizzles, if it's just fizzling when the enemy dies and it doesn't get one more chance to proc for the, you know, its allies on its sides, then that's, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be as useful as we would want. For example, the halfling boss fight, obviously, we would be able would have been able to use it, though. These will be put to good use. Sparkles? Don't care. I I give I give the sparkles a good couple seconds. And if they don't sparkle when I stop to look for them, then I don't care about them. That's my sparkle law. This will come in handy. It's a 20. Want to be like a little bit careful? Sparkle? We do have a boss. A little slime. Hmm. He's a fast son of a gun. No guard, no rattle. I mean, well, no, uh, stun, no rattle. Could go for the guard. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Congrats. It's kind of just an armor up then. Which there's, there's worse things to do. I do wonder if we could do, like, a little bit of a daisy chain, you know? Where if I go for the, uh... The guard right here, for example. And the other one's guarding. Okay. Okay. That's kind of what I expected. So we have a chop. We can go here as well. We could get lucky with it. And the thing is... At nine... Okay, it's just a bleed be able to take down the back line. That's what I was going to say. Because the wolf is probably going to be the uh, scariest of the squad here. Probably. Out of what's left, I, I don't think that you necessarily are much better here. It'd be Calm Banner. If anything, these are small units. What's your weapon again? Is it the... Uh, So one of you has a shield that's extra damage against small, but I don't really care. I think we just go for the blast. Oh. We hope for the heal, which we didn't get. Intercept armor up. Uh, you're attacking Dome Thinker? Really? I don't know if Peep Jailer really should even be taking these uh, these tank moments anyways. I like the idea of a chance to rattle on it with the wakey wakeys here. It's 60% chance, so it's not like a good idea, but it's not the not the worst either. Thrust, beautiful, with the kill, and a little bit of damage on the front line to guarantee... Ooh, movement. Oh, beautiful, you freaking idiot. It's actually... Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, it's actually a stun, uh, Sunder moment. Alright, we have a campfire. I think that I would rather... I think we might as well heal up. 
people saying, why are you healing up before the campfire? Because that does percentage of max. I know, but I'm not using the heal. I'm going to go for the speed. You can't take the food with you. You can't take, take the food home with you. So what you do, if you can heal up to basically full, you go for the campfire and then you go for the speed up instead of the extra HP up. In my opinion, if we're only missing like a grand total of like two health. Yeah, two. we're missing a grand total of two HP. I think that that's probably an area in which I would say it's better to go for the speed up. Okay, spider. Please let me get a surprise round on it. Yes! Let's go! They confront the there's, some, there's some good and bad in it. It actually makes it a little bit trickier to get a wakey-wakey sometimes. Um. Oh, you didn't get surprised. Interesting. Chance of stun. Okay. We couldn't rattle you even if I wanted to. You know what? I'm going to start with an armor up early. We'll let the others uh, do their thing there. But the wakey wakey is a bit weird. Uh, because without that extra final hit, it is just a high roll chop. The thing that's good about it is we can specifically try and target you, and we get an extra chance for a crit. That's the reason it's good. We could also try and slicing dagger, but 38 health isn't really very much. Uh, unlucky. Should have gone for two chops then in hindsight. Still could do a little bit of that. We have you. We got long shot and devious shot. So if I go for chop, I can uh, kill the back with long shot. I think that that's fine. I think we'll just do that. How dare you. I think that just getting a, a kill there is, is fine. I would have liked to make a little bit more moves on the big spider, but the moves didn't really line up for it to be a good idea to me. Dude! No, man! Soul Gale, we could try and push them all back. I actually don't mind Sticky Hoodoo here, but... Um, if we hit the front with a high one... Ooh, okay, that's actually good. It's, it's frozen. We could go for a rattle, or we could just wait and go for an intercept, which I think I like better here. We can't intercept the back. Okay. Now we can go for a rattle. Oh, that's beautiful, man. We're going to buy ourselves a, a lot of time there. That's some damage. All right. If we could get lucky... All right. I mean, this is our this is our boss. So basically, it's it's. God dang it. We definitely kill because you're about to go. So those who are uh, <laughs> uh, fans of the action economy will will like that one. So slicing dagger, we could. I think we do just go for the front line. God. Yeah. I mean. If we would have known the fight was going to go the way it went, getting that early would probably be a good call. We could life shock bulk angler. It's not the worst. He is stunned for a bit, but he got pretty fully healed there. Yeah. I think we just don't we just don't mess with it. When you go, you got another Beast Bane arrow. That guy's dead next time. So they're both going for you. We could guard up on one of them. Or we could guard and tank one of them, split the DPS a little bit. Considering you're going to be killing anyways. I don't think it necessarily matters too much for us to squeak out more damage. Oh! Interesting. The web that actually didn't, uh, huh. It didn't work how I thought it would. 
Alternatively, we could go for a smack, and if this is a if this is a stun, which yeah, which I didn't think it would be, we could go for the other. Beastbane arrow is a good use there. It doesn't really matter. I think they're both dead before we have to mess with anything else. We're good to go. And a nice clean execute. The imposing creature is gone. Beautiful. Honestly, really good fight. I think we're uh, feeling feeling pretty good about things. So yeah, encounters four out of seven, and that's so this is just kind of weird, and it tells you like you didn't complete some encounters that you couldn't have because I couldn't have backtracked. I know because I tried uh, in every uh, location there. So a, new day. a weird thing. All right. So I would definitely like to do that. I cannot. Still don't have enough bone. Corn killer? Is that guy's name Corn Killer? A fair trade. I think we're going to take that at all opportunities. If you upgrade the campgrounds, does it also upgrade the merchant's wares? Because his stuff is trash. He has not had better stuff in, like, in ages. So I guess we still can't upgrade that. We could probably... Yeah, I was going to say, we could probably upgrade one of these. 25 wood. How much did we end up getting total? Twenty, twenty, four. So we have forty. We have forty-four. Just what's needed. Yeah, forty, forty-four. And the barracks needs what? Twenty. Power gained at camps. Power gained at camps. Just by going to a camp, you gain two power? Or do I have to take the speed one? If so, that's still pretty good. That might be worth doing... 44... Where we are, are... How far off on bone? We have 30. We need... 20... Oh, we're too off. Uh... I don't know if I want to buy. What about the Warrens? I can't. I can't spend bones right now. Oh, dude. All right. Well, hey, that is that, though. That's going to do it here for today for Goblin Stone. Good work. Good progress. I will say I do kind of want to uh, do another one of these. See if we can find another. So, Skeptic. Religious, you also have skeptic. Which is plus two, so you normally only have four minds. I think it's fine. They both have skeptic, which is the most important thing. Unless I want to try and get like a thick blood or alert. I think let's try and... I just don't care that much about those, though. I don't want Brute. I, t I can tell you that for sure. Thick-Blooded is basically the only other thing I'd want to try and sneak in there. You have such a low mind stat. We'll just go... We'll go for somebody who has Dome Thinker's mind stat, or we'll go for none of them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Unlucky. But I, I'll tell you, actually, I do want to probably recruit Tick Scaler, LOL, uh, because Thick Blood with Six Mind, you're going to be a good one to pair with somebody else in the future. This guy's a, uh, a no go, I think, though. An appropriate vocation. We will make you. Welcome aboard, Tick, tick Scaler. And then, bye-bye.
<laughs> You're being out into the free world, baby. And I think... I think we're done here. I, I think we're done, so. All right. Gotta go get more supplies. Alas, alas, that is that. That's gonna do it here for today for Goblin Stone. If you'd be sad to see the series go, yeah, gotta let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.